go on the stream. That seems to be working. Submit my things. Pat that, <laughs> and then switch over to the Discord server, which we are testing out, and I will tell them there too. All right. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> so, as I recall, your various fixers, handlers, what have you, have uh, sent you the go codes for a quick meeting with a Mr. Johnson, who seems to be on a strict timetable. He's got two things he would like you to do, and he's willing to pay you a lot of money to do it. And the meeting place is going to be... Oh, let me check my map. Map of Seattle and districts tells me that it is going to be at Nelson's Corner, which is an A-rated area in Everett. And it is going to be at a aquarium shop called Tanks for the Memories. I'm pretty sure I have to hate you. I'm awesome. Pretty sure you do. Um, you, you clearly missed all the business names I made the other day. Yeah, I was. <laughs> I was wondering if I was the only one who recognized the curl up and die. <laughs> uh, good times. Um, all right, we'll go ahead and go with left to right because it's easier for me. And Casa is on my left, so it is an Everett at Tanks for the Memories, A-rated zone. How you get there, what you look like, and uh, where you come from. Uh, let me double check and see where I actually came from. Uh, we're coming from God Auburn. Damn. I am having my fixer acquire me a taxi because still not 100 percent sure on how all that stuff works. Okay. Um. Uh, sorry, it's been a while since I actually opened up this character sheet. I don't remember what I have. <laughs> oh, it's the rampage. So I have this Rapid Transit Elite, which I imagine is significantly more appropriate to be worn in the nicer areas of Bellevue. I'm right. sure. So I'll probably be wearing that. Uh, have a small bag full of things that make me look like a normal person, which is nothing like super illegal. Okay. The... Uh, do you want a physical description? You want to do that when we all get together? Uh, we'll go ahead and do that when we get everybody together. Sure. And um, if you are, you going to arrive on time at uh, insert meeting time here or early, or are you going to decide to be late because Jembe Cab what? is best cab, but sometimes he's got to stop off and do a side quest. Stupid side quest. Uh, what time was the meeting? Um, the meeting is at insert time here, which would be uh, early afternoon. Uh, I will probably go into that area maybe an hour or so early just to kind of get the lay of the land. Okay, so Not it'll be about, at about 1 p.m. Sure. So you'll be coming in right around the lunch rush. There'll be plenty of people, all sorts of new new things to smell. Uh, Monday, same questions. Um, obviously not the new things to smell thing, though. Monday is coming in from downtown. She is currently wearing her Argentum coat, which is set to a dark gray. Underneath it, she has a nice warm dress and leggings stuffed into military combat boots. All right. And what time are you she's not, Uh She's going to arrive about 15 minutes early. Uh, she does not have anything on her illegal. She keeps those in her smuggling compartment. Okay. The only uh, weapon she has is a taser, which is nice and legal. It is nice and legal. Alrighty. Um, Hellwinter, what are you doing? Hellwinter is going to hop on his bike in Tacoma and go screaming up the I-5, up the 535, and into Nelson's Corner. Okay. Uh, I'm going to get there half an hour early to account for the fact that Grid Guide is going to randomly, I don't know, stop for a fire or drive two cars into each other. Right. <laughs> uh, yeah, shows up wearing uh, his Argentum coat over a um, Seattle Mariners jersey, pair of jeans, okay. uh, pair of heavy riding boots, 
sunglasses on. He's wiping a little bit of rain out of his hair when he gets off the bike. He's uh, not carrying anything illegal. Uh, he's got um, cyber deck. We just got a permit for. He's not bothering to bring a gun because you know it, it's Everett within like a stone's throw of the giant Fed Brewing place. Right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and his broadcasting is rating four fakes in. Most excellent. Uh, Anti, it is uh, your call. What are you doing? Uh, Anti will be driving his Ford Americar from downtown. Uh, he will arrive 30 minutes early. He's wearing his Berwick suit and greatcoat. All right. And uh, introducing the loss, to is having his uh, first run on the runner hub. And is totally not shitting himself. Awesome. Perfect. That's what we No like pressure. Do. It'll be fine. Just to let you know, I have PvP'd another runner. <laughs> this month. Good. <laughs> God damn it, Rob. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, first question would be is, where is your uh, lifestyle housed? Like, what, what area are you in? You know, I hadn't I hadn't really thought of that. It's a low lifestyle, so nowhere nice. Okay. Well, let me take a look at the map here. Let's see if we can put you in some place that at least makes sense. I think uh, Yes, you know what? We'll say that you're coming up from May Creek, which is just off the 405 in Bellevue of all places because there are C-rated areas in Bellevue. Go figure. And, because it's a 405, it's a straight shot, more or less, all the way up to where you need to be. So, how are you getting there? What's your vehicle? Standard Ford Americar, I believe. Excellent. A good <laughs> choice. Best Americar, 25 years running. And the but... final question would be, um, what are you wearing? And what are you bringing with you? So, it's two questions at one. Well, it's a long-running gag that the Lost doesn't wear, doesn't own a dress, so I guess she's wearing her normal clothes, and I think she's probably not going to carry any of her weapons in, but she has her cash right there, so it's not far. Okay. All right. So, um... Everybody else is showing up within like a half hour to 15 minutes, so we'll go ahead and swing back to Casa. Go ahead and give me your favored mode of perception. Uh, favored mode of perception in which area? Um, like, am I out in the streets? Am I? Yes, you are. You are going to be outside of of the building. This is this is this is to get a gauge of the area. Okay, Let me just check my uh. Uh, let's go with audio. All right. So with four successes, um, the things that you hear are the normal traffic for what would be a, a lunch hour rush outside of Fed Boeing. So the little bistros and, and, and gastro pubs and bars and stuff are, are filled with corporate employees uh, talking and dining and Maybe kicking back one too many beers before returning to the corporate drudgery, which all Shadowrunners hate, but secretly yearn for because it's a stable job and an easy living. Um, the other things that you hear are the occasional whir of night errant roto drones that are on patrol. Uh, they seem to be on a regular patrol, uh, not really turning off or turning on sirens or anything, which is a good sign. And um, you also hear... Uh, kind of this uh, underlying uh, white noise, almost, coming from the uh, building that you are going to be meeting in. Interesting. It is interesting. Yes, Cat, it is very interesting. Sorry, Cat, not you. I was talking to my cat, which is... It happens. Orange yes, my orange asshole. You should probably get a doctor to look at that. Uh, it's not, not natural. Yeah, no. Um, 
so about a half hour before the meet starts, um, everybody is is pulling up. Uh, the takes for the memories is in a, a little isolated building. It's actually attached to like two or three other shops. Uh, nearby looks to be a separate uh, brick and mortar, like it used to be a wine and cheese shop. Um, there seems to be some sort of curio shop moving in there now. Um, letters and Cyrillic selling stuff like Kamchatka dolls, Fabergé eggs, um, kitschy shit that Russians would love. Um, tanks for the memories itself just has a big glass window. It's got a bunch of fish tanks in it. Um, it's got a nice little sign and neon and again an AR. And the most notable thing is everybody's pulling up. Uh, the open sign that is on uh, clicks off. Because, hey, it's lunchtime. They're probably taking lunch now. Or having an illicit business meeting. Who knows? <clears throat> yes, it's siesta time. <clears throat> so there's the place. Well, after, what you doing? After Monday has a few moments to look around, she's going to head up to the door and try it to see if it's locked. Okay. Because so, it is closed. She has an appointment. It is. Um, as as you approach, the uh, the door is not locked for you. And uh, honestly, this area does seem kind of familiar to you. But uh, you were able to walk inside with no problem. <clears throat> what about everybody else? Uh, Auntie would probably peek in the window first, see if anyone's walking around, and then try the door. Okay. So you see that um, there is a uh, woman fitting Monday's description that has just walked in. Walking around, walking around. Walking around. <clears throat> and you are able and to, are able uh, to uh, enter, the enter the door as well. As it echoes, echoes, echoes. Yeah, I went to off his bike. Vaguely recognizes what he thinks is probably Monday, having run into her before. Uh, sees the sign click off. And uh, rolls up. Pushes the door open. Knocks on the inside of the door frame as he walks in. Okay. So as, as people are walking in, um, there is an AR that pops up as uh, people cross the threshold. And uh, it's basically an AR tag saying that um, special uh, special orders are uh, given in the back, behind the register. Let's go make a special order. All right. Yeah. I assume everybody's going inside at this point? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Oh, absolutely. Excellent, mm. excellent, excellent. My character looks kind of awkward. She's very aware how conspicuous she looks. I almost mm -hmm. look like a shadow runner. <laughs> All right. So as as everybody steps behind the counter, um, they will note that uh, there is a a room in the back that is uh, set up. It's just a big round table. It's got uh, six folding chairs around this table. Um, it's a short hallway to get to this room, and there's a closed door off to the left, and you can hear a, um, a tritio set blurring very loudly. Um, as the last person crosses the threshold and the door closes, you hear the latch engage as the maglock uh, locks up, and the place is truly closed. And uh, currently there is nobody in the room with the big circular table, although the AR tags are directing you to that room. Are there chairs? There are indeed chairs. I lay claim to a chair. <laughs> and sit in it. Okay. Uh, define uh, outside. Uh, just outside the... Like, we came into room. Room got incredibly shady. Anything going on out there? Okay. So, aside from the blaring tritio set that you can hear, the underlying white noise is getting distinctly louder enough to where you're not really hearing anything around or outside or, or even really inside. Although it clears up a bit as you enter this, this shady back room. Um, your natural ultrasound does not indicate anything uh, invisible, so to speak. Yep. Everything, I just started out there. In for... place. Hmm. 
and visual perception around the room itself, Auntie, you will see that uh, the setup looks a lot like a poker table, which feels quite at home to you. And awesome. um, in the center of this table looks to be a, uh, a Tridio projector that is basically set up to do, like, holographic advertising, like it'll pop up and all that distracting shit that would get you in an accident if it wasn't for Grid Guide and how amazing Grid Guide is and other advertisements for self-driving cars. Yay, Grid Guide. Grid Guide is love. Grid Guide is life. Do, do, not, do not subscribe to Jembe Cab. Hmm. Hashtag Grid Guide. Totally. Um, Auntie hmm. will take a seat at the table then. All right. Yeah, and with her stops, reaches into his jacket, pulls out a cigarette, thinks better of it, puts the pack back away, and sits, looking around, fidgeting with his lighter, waiting for presumably the projector to come on and someone to explain to us exactly what they want us to steal. Excellent. <laughs> I assume everybody else is doing the same? Yeah, yeah definitely. Excellent. Okay. So as everybody takes a seat, and that fifth seat is filled... The projector indeed does click on, and uh, it projects the hologram of an individual sitting in the sixth chair. And it looks to be a human male, dark hair, wearing uh, uh, what look to be AR glasses. Um, got a bit of a five o'clock shadow going. Um, very nondescript corporate type, um, wearing the Zoe executive suite. You can see that even in the hologram. Um, if nice. anybody wants to make any assorted knowledge che checks for corporate, Shadow stuff, Johnson's, whatever you I want. am. I'm going to make a corporate fashion check. All right. <laughs> As am I. Go for it. All right. Wow. So, um, I will start at the bottom and uh, work my way up in terms of successes, because that is how I do things. So, um, Hellwinter sees that this guy is wearing um, MCT's version of the uh, Zoe Executive Suite, because hmm. I totally don't remember who, that, who their line is mainly with right now. Um, although you can suspect from his Anglo features that he's probably trolling you. Um, you think that? Right. Um, Monday, you can also see that despite he's wearing that, he does have uh, the glasses suggest he might be Seder Krupp. And Anti, with four successes on Shadow Community, um, you have heard of this guy before. Um, he's got the SK glasses, the MCT suit, but the comlink is very clearly Neonat. So chances are this is a Neonet Johnson. Okay. All right. So, anything else? Uh, Mr. Johnson, I believe you have business with us? Yes, he responds. Yes, I do. So I'll go ahead and get right to the point. Uh, you will be the second team that I am hiring to uh, follow up on my first team. My first team consisted mostly of a Decker. I was going to have her uh, be a cutout for me for a, a different team, but things seem to have gone wrong. Uh, I hired her to do a data steal, of which I can only assume that she accomplished, as she was also doing prep work for an intrusion that I was planning on taking undertaking later this week. But she has fallen off the grid and says such, I need you to find her, find out what preparations she has completed, finish her preparations if necessary, and then finish the job that I hired her and her eventual team to accomplish. And uh, what's the handle of this Decker? Uh, and he looks at his... Uh, Comlink for a second, because, you know, me, I totally forgot to actually think of one. <laughs> you can call her Benny. Benny, with a B? Yes. Okay. And 
And uh, what exactly was this person tasked to do? As I said, she was tasked to uh, pave the way, so to speak, for a uh, intrusion into a uh, research facility that is actually uh, nearby. And uh, who owns the research facility, if you don't mind me asking? And he smiles and says, I do kind of uh, mind you asking. Uh, I have not heard you uh, accept the position as of yet. What are the terms of our payment? The terms of the payment will be 40,000 new yen each. I can offer a... Uh, upfront payment, and uh, the rest will actually be dealt in a lump sum, certified cred stick, upon completion of the operation, um, which we will discuss just as soon as uh, you accept. 40,000 each sounds reasonable to me. Who will be holding the cred stick? The cred stick will be held by a... Uh, Mutual associate of uh, mine, and I suppose the rest of you, I have it held in uh, quote-unquote escrow, as he holds up his hands and does the quote marks, with a sysop of the uh, runner hub jack point. That's acceptable. Very reasonable. Yeah. Tell me more. Okay. I, I don't think asking for more than 40000 is uh is worth it here so let's go with it all right so uh he nods once and says very well this is a horizon owned research facility which was a bit of a surprise to me to find that it was uh, in everett what they have there is just a little piddling thing they're just looking at uh one bit of uh, notable research right now, and I would like either that research uh, taken to a location, which I will transmit um, presently, and uh, there will be a map that comes up that shows a uh, point in uh, Snohomish somewhere. Easy to get to, not a lot of security. Mm. Or, if you can provide definitive proof that it has been entirely removed from that facility, as in destroyed. Um, I'll tell you what. If you can bring that to me uh, undamaged, uh, I will throw in a bit of a bonus, let's say 10%. Um, if it's destroyed, well, still 40000 is a lot of money. I can give everybody 5000 each up front. Um, I can send that to an account of your choice, or, well, actually the easiest way will just be to go up front and uh, activate the cash register. I'll give you the code for that, and there will be five cred sticks inside. Hmm. Novel. <laughs> yeah, well, you have the toys, you have to play with them. True enough. I figured you would issue us a refund for a purchase we never made to the tune of 5,000 new yen for a fish tank that I don't know, anyway. <laughs> Hmm. Quite possibly. Hmm. So, so, what questions do you have for me? What sort of research is this? That is unknown. That's why I was sending a team in. I know that they are working on one thing, and one thing only. The entire facility is dedicated to researching this one thing, but they've been understandably tight-lipped about it. It is another corporation, of course. Hmm. So... I hired Benny in order to start infiltrating their servers and uh, setting up an intrusion plan for a second team, which she would then accompany. As I said, she has fallen off the grid. I've heard nothing from her in several days, and the timetable's getting a little tight. Not too tight, but I was getting a little worried because I haven't gotten my regular updates. So... I'm just going to go ahead and take care of that second part and send you in her place. When uh, when was the last time you heard from uh, this Benny? Uh, she missed her check-in yesterday. So I think it would have been uh, 72 hours ago. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
And, Do you have uh, the last known location? Yes. Uh, the last known location that she sent me, and he holds up a hand with a finger pointed up, mind you, uh, she could have been lying, after all. Paranoia is your stock and trade. <laughs> um, she was staying in a low-rent apartment complex in Touristville. And he sends the uh, map location over. Mm -hmm. And uh, during her last check-in with you, um, how was progress going? Uh, progress was actually uh, apparently going well, though again, paranoia is your stock and trade. She could have been lying through her teeth. I was simply accepting her word on trust. Um, for the most part, she had been fairly forthcoming with details. It sounded like uh, the initial legwork had been done to physically penetrate the facility. Um, how she was going to decide to send the team in, uh, I did not know. She did not share that information. Did you meet her face to face at any point or with all of your business done over the matrix? Um, I did actually meet her face to face once. Um, everything else was handled through, oh, the usual dead drops, matrix, uh, locations, uh, passing notes in a smoky bar. That was my favorite. Um, mm. there was even at one point a, um, a, a ballroom scene where I was dancing with one lady and somebody was dancing with somebody else and voila, there was a note in my pocket that was mm. really clever. Excellent. That means you can tell us what she looks like. Yes, I can. <laughs> and I can actually do you one better. And he will make a motion on his comm link. And a picture of this girl shows up. And um, first thing you will note, the uh, hair is hidden by a headscarf. Although you can tell that uh, she's got elven features. Um, eyes are hidden by a pair of mirrored sunglasses. Um, it looks like she was um, perhaps um, Aztlan Mexican in descent. And uh, from what wisps of hair that you can see in the photo, which were clearly taken by a pair of cyber eyes, um, mm -hmm. looks like she had dark hair, um, slight figure, you know, typical elf stuff. Good enough. Give us something to work with. What do you know on this, Benny? Okay, so with four successes, um, you will note that right off, there has been no Decker that you know of named of Benny. Although, Elven Deckers, pretty much dime a dozen. Um, you have heard of a couple of Deckers with this kind of build that would probably be up for corporate jobs. So... At this point, you're pretty sure that Benny was a false name given to the Johnson. Well, Paranoia is, our, uh, is the name of our game, right? That's right. And no, I'm doing no. this specifically to drive Bickle crazy, because I know he's listening. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, so it's probably a waste of time to get the com codes you had to contact her because you moved on past that so quickly to the more exciting ways of exchanging information, which I'm sure your wife was thrilled about. <laughs> Hold on, honey. I have to go to a bar to meet a strange woman. And, uh, never mind. Uh, <laughs> I swear, it it's all business. Right. Totally. Well, I will send you the last com code I had via Matrix Contact, and he'll send that over. So now you have a com code that may or not, may not be active. He then does follow up with, um, I know this com code is still active, although I have not received any answers from it. That's why I've contacted you. So it is an active com code. It's just not taking calls right now. Hmm. It's good to know. All right. Um... And we have the exact location of this facility? Uh, not the exact location. You have the general location. Benny, 
would have the exact location. I am almost positive that she has it if she was working on getting um, uh, an intrusion plan in place. So just while we have a second, can I get the... Uh... <clears throat> The details of the job just so I can write it down because I should have sure. taken notes from the start. Okay, so step one find Benny. Okay. Step two acquire Benny's information on Horizon Research Facility. Step three infiltrate Secret Horizon Research Facility. Step four question mark. Step five return question mark to Johnson. <laughs> or evidence of destruction of question mark. Step six, profit. Got all that? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Most excellent. And it was 5,000 up front, 35 on the back end, and 10% potential bonus? That is correct. Yeah, and the, the bonus was for... Total. So it's it's a potential bonus of another four thousand. Um, For doing what? Uh, uh, retrieving the data unharmed. Returning question mark to Johnson undamaged. Yeah. Um, I will also say that um, because it's me and I'm allowed, or I find it easier to beg forgiveness than ask permission. There is the possibility of pay data in the uh, facility itself to kind of boost that bonus. Even better. I love when we get to be like pirates. <laughs> uh, but hey, Mr. Johnson, we will get it taken care of, Mr. Johnson. Mm -hmm. Most wonderful. Um, if you can, and he checks his watch, as it is Monday, get this to me by uh, Friday at uh, 1800. That would be absolutely wonderful. <coughs> And with the nod, Monday will stand up. Okay. Uh, how do we contact you to arrange the... Oh, that's right, we take it to the other place. Never mind. Right. Uh, yes. Okay. So, as people start to stand up, the projector clicks off and he disappears. And then mm -hmm. you hear the sound of a register return as the register opens up up front. Excellent. I'll head up front and collect a crit, collect a cred stick. Okay. There is indeed uh, the the uh, cash till has been entirely removed, only showing the bottom, and there are five cred sticks there. Uh, yeah. Collect a cred stick on the way out, having <laughs> decided it's not worth bothering to look to see whether there's a pressure sensor or what underneath the chairs. Okay. Yeah. So it's clearly not a bomb. Not going to worry about it. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. Well, I'm Money off, leave the cred stick. Yeah, I'll pick up the cred stick and make my way out. Okay, everybody yes. add 5,000 million to their sheets. Yep. Did we have her her safe house or something I think I thought I heard you mention? Yes, it is a uh, low-rent apartment in Touristville. Okay. Uh, and she was there less than 72 hours ago? Uh, Yes. That is the so. information that you received. Mm. Sounds like that should be our first uh, first place to visit. It certainly does. I love Tortoise Hill. I've, I've contacted an uh, associate of mine to see if he can find out any information on her. He says the name, the face looks familiar. He'll get back to me. I can tell you for a fact that the name is not legit. I just so. sent him the image. So, I'll uh, I'll contact my fixer see if he knows anyone that also matches that physical description. Okay. I'll do some snooping around, see what I can find. So, looking around the street, how busy is it here? So, um, it being probably about um, twenty to thirty minutes after two p.m. 
Um, it is uh, slowly thinning out as everybody is finishing their staggered lunch hours and returning to work at Fed Bowen. As the last person steps out of the shop, um, you see the open sign come back on. Hmm. And um, there's a little bit of foot traffic, the occasional drone flitting around. There's not a steady stream of cars, um, but enough to suggest that this is a bustling street of commerce. All right. Does anyone need a ride? Yes, please. We should probably right. consolidate into one or two cars for the trip into Redmond. That's about it, though. Well, I have mine. If nobody else needs one, bring theirs. Mm. All right. Could I meet you someplace in Bellevue? I got to pick up a couple of things I didn't necessarily want to make you the meet. Find the mall someplace I can stash my bike in the parking garage when no one will bother it, and then we can head in from there. Sounds good? Fine. She looks a little confused, but she nods her head in agreement. So does that make me the other driver? I can drive if need be. Mm. Alrighty. Um, so I've got some legwork rolls here. I will go ahead and again start at the least number of successes and work my way up. Um, which is coincidentally bottom to top. Uh, Casa, your fixer, um... Knows jack shit. Yeah, sees the picture and is like, um, looks pretty cute. Say she's a decker. If you find her, send her contact information my way, yeah? I might have some stuff for her. <laughs> okay. Uh, four successes. All right. So, Louis says, um... Yeah, 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 yeah. I've heard of this lady. She's done a couple of slick jobs downtown, almost exclusively works out of um, single-A to triple-A areas. Doesn't like slumming. Um, um, God, I can't place her name right now. I'm trying to remember, but uh, give me some time. I'll, let me let me see if she sent uh, left me her contact information. Never really likes working with people, almost always works alone. All right, thanks for the tip, Louie. Get back to me soon. Um, Matthew Vanoff, five successes, says, oh, yeah, this one. Um, she's given me a couple names when every time she comes in, uh, mostly for legal advice. We've made a few um, uh, unlawful intrusion uh, charges uh, get uh, pled down to, you know, online nuisance um Operating without a, uh, a sin broadcasting, things like that. Um, let's see, what was it? Uh, Jean, Julie, uh, the last one she gave me was a Janet something. Um, I'll have to go through my files. And then the Coyote Contact at six, which is insane. Um, right? Because damn. Mm. Um, it says, oh. Yeah, I know this chica. She uh, she always does some work for me, trying to get um, uh, trying to get IDs for stuff I'm running across the border. Um, likes to use the name Jinx. Most of stand for Jinx. Mm -hmm. Hi, Jinx. In fact. Oh, making one more call while I'm riding down to Tacoma. Calling right Hangley. I will pass that information along and ask him if he has, uh, I'm sorry, did he say she contacts him or he contacts her? He contacts her. Um, how, how long has it been since he talked to her? Um, he says it's been about, uh, two weeks. He hasn't had anything coming over the border lately, although he's gearing up to, uh, to give her a call pretty soon, as he's got uh, something coming up from the south uh, around Calvary Way. Okay, uh, I might have to call you back about that because that could be a potential thing. Okay. And, and I will. Uh, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, you do. You uh, do. I was just gonna say I make sure I share that information with everybody. Okay. Hmm. And don't forget to write that down so I can I can look at that later. 
<laughs> for my AAR, which I haven't written, along with everything else. Um, and Dr. Roy, ever seen this girl in any of the computer science classes? And with two successes, he says, uh, this one looks familiar, uh, very bright, uh, very sharp mind, like some... Um, I, I do recall seeing her uh, around the computer science labs, although mostly I take care of admissions, as you know. Mm -hmm. I have not seen her in any of my science classes, and uh, definitely, she definitely does, hasn't gone anywhere near the magical building, thank goodness. Mm -hmm. ah. Well, thanks. Sorry to disturb you. All right. Uh, who else can I bother about this? that I'm doing something else really quick hmm. I don't think I necessarily have anything to do until we get there yeah pretty much um, Did mr. Johnson gave us a time he gave us until Friday right until Friday yep which is four days yeah four it's Monday afternoon so yeah four and a half days well yeah I four think you days. know a little over four because he, he said it was Friday at six Six, yes. Okay, you can go away now. And... There. Now you have a picture. She so doesn't look Max again. Yeah, well... Um, <laughs> this, is, this is the sixth world. You can uh, use your imaginations. True enough. This Louis C.K. doesn't look Mexican either. That's you know. right. This is, this, is, this is not real reality, merely a fantastic simulation. Ah. It is possible that her her Mexican persona was a disguise. Yeah, it is quite possible she was just wearing a disguise. And right. A nice thick coating of bronzer will cover a great many things. Spray on tan. Yeah. It's not just for Jersey anymore. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, odd that but. she would be. Well, I guess if she's going to ground into coma, so we've got two separate contact numbers for him. Do they match, or are they two completely separate com codes? There are two completely separate com codes. <laughs> Is there any way we can trace her? Is the com code? Um, give it a call. Device goes active. Try to get marks on her com and trace her icon, assuming that they can get her persona active. Well, yeah. Both com codes, you will note, are indeed active, although nobody is answering. Uh, well, then, uh, let's see what we can do. Uh, uh, throw matrix perception at each one. Um, once I've stopped someplace, because I still don't trust Grid Guide, because, well, I, I know what I do to people like, using Grid Guide. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, 13, 15. Do I get. Are are you able to see that com code? To see the device, because the com I know it's act the com code's active, so can I see the device? Yes. Even if I can't track it yet, okay. You can see the device. Awesome. Uh it's not running silently? It is uh not running silently. Huh. Firewall rate? Is it slave to another device? Yes. Uh 
awesome. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. And let's see. It's the device rating of the comlink. Device rating of the comlink is a three. Okay. Um, and really, there's not much else I'm going to learn about it because it's comlink. And really, the thing I need is presumably the cyber deck that it's slave to. Uh, repeating this on the other device for the other one for the com code she gave to the smugglers. Okay. You have two questions. Choose wisely. Uh, is it slave to is it slave to another device? Yes, it is. Uh, what's its device rating? Three. Awesome. Now comes the fun part: trying to find the device that they're both slave to. Uh huh. I'm just going to put edge because that's terrible. That is terrible, and I'm so happy you spent a point of edge. Five. Okay, so with five, you are able to see the device that is uh, the other two comlinks are slave to. They're, they're slaved to the same device. Excellent. Uh, do I get any questions on it? Uh, yes, you get one question. Oh boy, what is... Uh... What's its firewall rating? Its firewall rating is... Because I am totally prepared for Matrix stuff, which I never am. That's a lie. Uh, let me pull up the deck that she was using for this particular thing. Uh, Firewall is five. Okay. Uh, let her know. Hey, uh, yeah, I found her deck. I haven't traced it yet, because also if I trace it, we may spook her even further. I'm thinking might be, give her a call, see if she answers, see if she can tell us a little bit more about what's going on, if she's alive. Or I try to trace it and, you know, freak her out even further and she just shuts it off and claws deeper into a hole in Torresville. This ideas, suggestions, well, if we call it and we're not somebody that she knows of, then it's going to be unusual. Is there any way we could get the person that usually calls her to contact her to come fix something for them? This is true. We do have people who apparently have been doing business with her previously. Uh, it is not a bad option. Have them reach out to her and act as a go-between of sorts. Do we want to check out her safe house first? I'd be happy to. Yes. This sounds like a this sounds like a good next step. Uh, though, yeah, calling her out of the blue probably a bad idea. Uh, Plus, if we call her out of the blue and we're there, and she does something weird, we'll be there to see it. This is true. And if that is our safe house, we need to be very sure to make sure we're not walking into something that's going to make her be even more suspicious and run further into hiding. Mm -hmm. She could have cameras, drones set up. Mm -hmm. We definitely want to walk into this situation as people who want to help, not, you know. We are the people who were sent by the guy who hired you to figure out what's going on, and that's going to just make her nervous. Because he's going to assume that we're there to fucking kill her. Right. Which we're not. Uh, so. Uh, who wants to take a ride out to Touristville, then? Are we all going to go, or is it is that probably overkill? Actually, there's no reason not to all go. Unless I'm yeah. missing something. We might as well all go. Mm -hmm. Just to be on the safe side. Stick together. Well, 
to Touristville then. I love Touristville. Wonderful, wonderful, dirty, scummy Touristville. Yes. <sighs> like, <clears throat> like my, <clears throat> like my fixer said, it could could very well be a red herring. She doesn't usually like operating out of uh, slummy places, so this could just be a red herring to mm. check to see if people are after her. It's quite likely. It's possible that she's just watching the building, wants to see who shows up there, just to give herself an idea of who might be following her or looking for her. Right. It's not a bad idea. Clever girl. Or I'm giving her too much credit and, you know. No. <laughs> Only one way to find out, though. So I'm driving that way. Okay. Right. Um, so with early afternoon traffic, um, of which there is not much, mind you, um, you were able to get there within a half hour. So it's going to be a right around 3 o'clock, 3.15, um, when two carloads of Shadowrunners dump out at Touristville. Hmm. All right, so I'm going to park about three blocks away, so it's not anything strange. I'm going to put on my uh, Ruger Thunderbolts underneath my coat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have my wireless as stated. Okay. Uh, okay. So, detect enemies. How many how many bits do you need for a, a detection of enemy spell to work? Uh, I think it just works. It, I'm actually going to pull up the book now to double check if the hits to, is... Uh... Great, because I'm lazy. <laughs> <laughs> if the hits is distance or if distance is by force and it's one of those situations where hits don't matter a whole lot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And is she an enemy? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That is nebulous, because in, in, in the world of espionage, is everybody an enemy, or is nobody an enemy? Shades of gray. Hmm. It's not one of those situations that's just a quick, hmm, I wonder if anybody around here is giving us the stink eye. Are they looking to roll us? Yes. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, as, as soon as I have a, uh, a judgment on this particular spell, I will uh, give you that answer. It is my spell casting plus magic uh, versus their willpower plus logic or force times two for magical things. Okay. So when when everybody spills out of their respective <laughs> locations, where, where Casa is uh, when uh, she detects or, or detects her enemy's spell, uh, within 90 meters, you can feel the nebulous hair rising on the back of your neck. There is somebody who wishes to do you harm. <laughs> and you be, don't say. And it may be because of the car that you're driving. Who knows? <laughs> I mean, Detect Enemy spell doesn't give you a reasoning. It just tells you that, hey, somebody's pissed at you. Um, As we're traveling, can I get the idea of where it's coming from? Or... Um, it is within Touristville. It is within 90 meters of where you stop. And the general direction is towards the trashier areas where, you know, the the gutter punks and the gangers would hang out. Hmm. But it's not towards the, the safe house or in the safe house's immediate area? It is not in the safe house's immediate area. All right, so unless... Um, Go ahead. Uh, I'm going to throw a quick matrix perception at the actual building looking for... To see if I spot her deck again. All right. Or any other hidden devices. Sure. And I think I'm just going to use visual perception to look around. Go for it. Five. Okay. On the matrix perception. All right. So, as always, I will go from lowest number of successes up. With two successes... Um, where you've stopped in Touristville is the low rent district, which isn't saying much for Touristville because it's all low rent. However, it is off the main beaten path of where all the wage slaves and corporate scions like to go to party and feel like they're they're slumming it. Um, this would be the part where the service staff live, quote unquote. Um, there is the definite look of 
nasty, terrible stuff. Uh, trash, you know, jazz inhalers, uh, broken glass, things like that. Um, at five successes for Matrix Perception, you do note that because this is Touristville, um, there are a shitload of hidden devices. However, uh, one does stand out being a particular cyber deck. Well, it's a good sign. Her deck is here. And with six successes on visual perception, um, I'm going to go ahead and ask you to narrow this down. What in specific are you looking for? Very good question. Sorry, I'm um, I don't know. Any... Like, are, are you Anything? looking for, for uh, security? Or are you just kind of just looking to get a lay of the land? Are you looking for um, anything suspicious? Um, basically, with six successes, I'm going to give you a lot of information. So. Basic, basically, anything suspicious in the direction of the, the safe house, um, given the knowledge that this is... Somebody with a good grasp on the matrix and tech. Okay. So. Okay. Um, all right. So I'll go ahead and handle Lost, and I'll switch back around to Casa on Monday. Um, Lost, you are kind of looking around, and since you figure, hey, this this looks is good at matrix, um, you start taking a practiced eye towards the traffic cameras and other. Um, pedestrian monitoring devices that are in the area and you note that with six successes um, you find that there is a pedestrian camera that looks like it has been pointed straight at the front door of the apartment complex where uh, Jinx has her apartment so chances are that thing's been suborned to kind of keep an eye on her place. Mm -hmm. um, Casa, with the Predator's Eye, you are noticing there are some tasty people around here. Um, not too many, because it's, you know, three o'clock. But, the, you know, there are some corp kids who figure that they're going to, you know, show their stones by going off the beaten, ha beaten <coughs> path and walking with true gutter trash. And they're not doing a very good job of it. Those rebels. Indeed. They make uh, me sick. Monday, with three successes, um, you notice some gutter punks who are looking at the cars enviously, as if they covet them. Um, I wouldn't call it hostility, but it is enough that it may be troubling. Coming from the direction that my spell pinged? Yes, that I is will correct. send a DNI to the group that if they would like, I will stay with the vehicles unless somebody else would rather. Sounds good. The apartment building itself, is it a multi-floor thing, or is it a... Yes, it would uh, be a multi-floor. Uh, approximately six floors. Uh, fire escapes, that kind of thing? Um, you don't see them, although you can... Well... You can't assume they're there, but somebody who is actually a metahuman might. Mm. Haha, <laughs> suck it, shapeshifter. And you said the you said the cameras have pointed at the front door, so like the lobby or whatever the entryway would be. Yes, mm. it is it is pointed right at where the entryway would be. Can we get all the way around the building? Yes. We want to check and make sure that, you know, somebody's watching the back door so that she doesn't take off out the back as we come walking in the front door. <clears throat> yeah, that sounds like a good plan. I can I can head back there. All right, so there. Monday's watching the front. The three of us can walk in and we'll introduce ourselves. It'll be great. Casa is, is going to nod and then disappear from view. Okay, if the two of us are going to go in and introduce ourselves. <laughs> If, if that's what we're going with, perhaps I should go with. I might be able to talk to her instead of chase her after she runs. It's 
sounds good. <laughs> I mean, so Casa and I can switch places, perhaps, and I can go inside with you. Casa is already gone. No, I'm, st I'm still there. I just went invisible. Well, yes, that's what I'm saying. You're invisible, so you're already gone. Hmm. Where the hell did she go? Whatever. Uh, I'm right here. Ah, of course. How silly of me. Can you recap that plan so we know who's going where again? I don't know who's on third. Uh, Monday was staying out watching the front and the cars. Uh, who was going to the back? Was it the Lost was going to the back? And then Anti, Casa and I were going to go inside and talk to this delightful young lady. Or at the very least, talk to her desiccated corpse plugged into her still active cyber deck. You never know. Uh, works for me, barring the dead part. Well, it's a possibility. I mean, I just want to make, you know, raise it as an option that's something we may have to consider is that, you know... <laughs> Fair. We do make a living in the business where we plug our brains into a very large, very complicated machine that, as far as I can tell, was built to fucking kill us. That's These things good. happen. Hmm. So if I got that right, Auntie and Hellwinter were going inside? Yeah. Lost was going around back? Yeah. Uh, I, I can also go around back, so we're nice and easy. Okay. Alright. Let's go in. Okay. While I'm outside, I will be keeping an eye out just to make sure, you know, if she happens to show up to notice her. I mean... We're not parked nearby, but, you know, I mean, a couple blocks away, maybe she she mm -hmm. does like a Shadowrunner and parks aside and walks up. Sure. Mm -hmm. All right. So, you are walking in the front door. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, the front door opens easily because this is an apartment building, and apartment buildings typically have the front doors easily openable. Mm -hmm. um, you are able to go to any floor that you need to because there mm. is a handy dandy elevator and there is also a staircase. Yep. Let's take a nice relaxing stroll up the stairs and see where do we have a floor number for the apartment or do we just know it's the building? You know it is the building. You would be able to you recognize from the spatial location on the cyber deck that was hidden mm -hmm. that is it is an apartment on the fourth floor. All right. Yeah, that was my next question. It was um, if I don't know the floor, can I? How exactly can I place the deck's location in space to figure out which apartment it is? Yes, I already thought of that. Awesome! It's like you've done this before. I know. <laughs> Crazy. Up the stairs. Let's okay. go. As you're doing that, uh, we'll circle back around to the lost. So, with three successes, um, you see that this is basically an access alleyway for garbage trucks and the like. Because hey, there are dumpsters here. There is also a um, rather large garbage chute that leads to the larger dumpsters. Um, and it seems to have... Um, you can only assume that it would have access chutes on every floor. So basically everybody takes their trash to the end of the hallway and dumps it into the thing. And it ends up in the trash uh, bin. And as you're looking at it, you notice some trash come down. So very clearly it is working. There are cameras in the back. Um, they are focused on the back door. Um, although one is also focused with three successes, you see on the uh, trash dumpster itself. Um, on the back door, you will note that there is a um, a mag lock on it and a uh, key card reader. So be sure when you're taking out your trash on the ground floor. Uh, not to leave your keys in the apartment. Okay. Oh, before we head in, uh, also send around a quick DNI request to everybody so we can actually establish a communications channel oh, well, now that we're not all standing in the same place. I, I figured I'd just say it, just to... Get it on record. That's cool. Um, I, I will assume because you have signed up for a corporate job, and I don't want to rag on the Lost, for it is the Lost's first game on the hub. 
I will assume your competence, because I know all of you are competent, and I have great faith in the Lost. So no pressure. <laughs> None at all. So, um, everybody's got their DNI active. If you've got image links and cameras, you're all seeing all that cool stuff. If you have sensor sensory overload syndrome, God have mercy on your soul. So, fourth floor. Um, as you're going up the stairs, um, you'll see that it's somewhat well cupped. Um, there's there's bits of paper here and there. You know, there's occasional playbills on the wall showing what uh, what next underground band is going to be showing at one of the bars in uh, in Touristville itself. Um, the occasional missing poster, the occasional wanted AR tag, um, whenever KE decides to come through and update their postings. But all in all, not a lot of trash on the ground, which is nice. You get up to the fourth floor, and you can see that um, there's probably, you know, 10, 12 doors that go down here. And at the end of the hallway, you can see that there is a metal chute that is closed. Um, obviously, it'll want to be closed, otherwise this whole floor would stink. And then at the other end of the hall, which is near where the stairs where you come up, there is a, uh, a window that is looking out to the street. Uh, quick perception check, looking for, I don't know, recently disturbed dust or any indication that somebody might be might have been sitting there looking out the window a few okay. minutes ago. Uh, observing in detail. Okay. I'm, I'm loving that everybody in Twitch chat assumes that this chick is dead in this apartment. This is great. It's my assumption as well. Uh, yeah, I know. I know. It's the I, way it's set up. I don't assume anything until I see something. That's good. That's good. <laughs> this is a good assumption. All right. So let me, let me start with Casa with, with the one success. Um... You don't see a stashed vehicle, but you do see some stashed bicycles. Um, they are wedged in between a, a wall and the dumpster. There's three or four there. They've got varying degrees of, of various rating bike locks upon them. Um, the law sees the same thing. Um, there are There's evidence on some of these locks that they've been attempted to be broken into. Um, there are a couple of broken locks at the bottom that look like some cheap, uh, cheap locks that you get at the Kong Walmart or even a stuffer shack. So there have been some vehicles stolen or bicycles stolen in the past couple days. Uh, five successes looking in detail. So the window itself, um, is dusty. There are some fingerprints on the window, but they are less dusty, maybe two days old. Hmm. But they're not... Fresh. Somebody just had their hand looking out the window 30 seconds ago fresh or anything like that. Correct. Yeah. Good enough. Let's go in here and see what's going on. Okay. Uh, try to figure out which apartment it is. All right. Just based on the last spatial fix I got on the deck. Okay. Based on the last spatial fix you had on the deck, give me a memory check. Uh... Uh, I'm going to edge that. Oh, okie dokie. Well, yeah, uh, nah, I'll, take, I'll keep it. I'll keep the three hits on my memory check. All right. Uh, Kausa, uh, sensing the area, you see that there is definitely life there. Most of it, the rodent variety. Um, you do kind of see a cat. He's keeping himself fat and happy off of the rats that are, you know, going through bits of trash in the alleyway itself. Um, nothing human. Aside from you and your compatriots that you see in the alleyway, uh, within the immediate area, and inside the building, you get some vague sense that there's people living in it, which would make sense. Um, Hellwinter, you have a pretty good approximation that, based off of what you pinged in the Matrix, it's going to be in apartment 408. Great. Uh, take a look around. Slip the TMP out of my coat, 
and go walking up to the door. Okay. Want to knock or shall I? Eh, I'll knock. Why not? All right. I step out of the way, off to the side, so that I don't get shot through the door, and let Auntie knock on the door. <laughs> you have a lot of confidence in me, kid. I appreciate it. This is what I do. It's the least I can do after I publicly gave you so much shit. Yeah, well, we'll see how things turn out. Indeed we will. Okay, so you knock on the door. Are you certain? <laughs> am, I, am I certain that I knock on the door? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Let's, let's do it. I knock on the door. So as your knuckles wrap on the door of apartment 408, you feel the door give way as it slides open. And you hear the creaking of the hinges as it opens up partially. As you look down, you notice that the uh, it hasn't been forced open, but the latch on it, um, the hole has been taped over so it does not latch shut. Interesting. That Any... an interesting picture with cameras trained on the building. Uh-huh. Hmm. Any movement, any sound of any movement from inside? Give me a uh, auditory perception check. Uh, listening in detail. Four. Okay, so I'll start with two. With two, you hear nothing. With four successes... The silence on this floor is suspiciously deafening. Like, you don't even hear movement in any of the other apartments. This is very, very odd. Why? Let's... Um... Common sense. <laughs> um... Okay, go ahead. Door, so the, uh, it's taped shut, or it's taped over so that it doesn't, uh, shut properly. Uh -huh. Um, easy, easy escape, or potential trap. What can you, what can you tell me? Okay. I'm trying, I'm trying to think of how to phrase it. Like, right, so based, based off of the two questions you have asked... The answer is yes. Okay. Sold. You made a duck one edge. Woo -hoo, ha ha ha. No. <laughs> <laughs> yes, um, Twitch. You can't hear anything over all this quiet. <laughs> like, at, at I literally. Uh, well, I'm not there, so I mean, I can't really contribute. <laughs> right. Nobody's messed with the cars. Woo. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, uh, Monday is getting the stink eye from the gutter punks. Like, there's this dude with this this especially spiky reverse mohawk that's just like he he he's like just like scratching at his belt. It's like he wants that car, but there's this chick looking at him weird, and he's never experienced that before, and he's vaguely uncomfortable. They usually run. <laughs> hey, uh, hey, kid. There's definitely something going on with this. Mm -hmm. Our our girl is definitely extremely paranoid. I'm thinking that she has this door taped over, so when it clicks shut, it detonates a trap of some sort. Can I get an intuition times two check from both of you? While they do that, is this apartment on the front of the building or the back of the building? It is off the center of the building, left-hand side, if you were facing wow. the front. Oh. Hi. Okay, so Hellwinter might know this, not know this too much, but Auntie is making it, like, like it, it, it come, like, the, the, the hairs on the back of his neck rise, and are just, like, basically bitch-slapping the back of his brain. Um, as you speak, you note that the vibrations of your voice are completely absorbed by the materials around. Except for, like, 
th there's the the barest hint of an echo coming from inside, and it seems kind of like like this little it's it's echoing off of a device, kind of spherical, about the size of your fist, and it's right about head level, just behind the door. With nine successes, I I've got to be that specific. That's fucking bad. Yeah. Yeah, on 10d6, 9 successes, that's pretty good. Um, well, uh, in that case, don't walk in there. <laughs> there is probably something that will blow your head off if you go in there. Duck. Yes, yeah. throw a duck in there. Yeah, dude, ducks, ducks are radical. General mm. Muse did. <laughs> Long live um, General. So, Auntie is going to crouch low and slowly push open the door. Uh, I'm going to start backing a little bit further away from the door. Alright, so... Very as quietly as I can possibly manage, which is probably not very... Uh, let me, before we continue... Okay. No longer standing in front of the door, back pressed up against the wall, pressing it in. Okay. Did I say I walked down the hall? I meant I snuck down the hall. <laughs> <laughs> I crab-walked on the carpet. Wait, is there a carpet? No. I brought my own rubber mat. <laughs> I'm rolling them out in front of... I. Th yeah, this, this stinks. This is... All right. Hmm. So, as you open the door, I notice that we've been going for a little over an hour, so we'll go ahead and take a five-minute break, because dun, it's dun, dun. appropriately <laughs> dramatic. So, grab a drink, go to the bathroom, I'm going to finish my pizza crust and get a soda, and I hope you all are having fun, because I sure am. Mm. I'm enjoying this so far. Definitely. When we, when we come back...